a tutu, and a lot of dog hair. What if I told you that the key to making the internet a more joyful place came down to those two simple ingredients? Let me introduce you to my photography project, Dancers and Dogs. The unlikely internet sensation bringing smiles to millions of viewers worldwide. Now, I'm sure you have questions. <laughs> and yes, those two did get that shot in one take. But first, I have a question for you. Have you ever done something that worked? And I mean really worked, but you had no idea how it happened? This is how I stumbled into creating not only a new genre of art, but also an escape from the daily internet grind. Dancers and Dogs started out, as many of my ideas do, as a random thought while absentmindedly surfing the internet before bed. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to combine two of my very favorite things, ballet dancers and dogs? Now, stay with me. See, dance photography at its core is all about creating beautiful shapes with the human body. And I thought, there are big dogs, little dogs, fluffy dogs, sleek dogs. That could open up so many new shapes for us to create with. I took this idea to my husband and photography partner, Ian, who, as you can imagine, looked at me like I was insane. I mean, sure, we weren't animal photographers, but how hard could that be? <laughs> In January 2017, we took this first Dancers and Dogs image. I knew from the beginning that I wanted the images to be clean and simple and happy. Happy being the key word, because so often dance photography is very serious. Needless to say, I think people loved it. I think we can all agree that Baxter is a stud muffin. <laughs> so we tried it with a few more dancers and dogs, and then a few more. We did a lot of learning that first year, trying to figure out what really worked for the project. And something interesting, it's not always just ballet perfection. Really quickly, we realized that this image was equal in merit to this image. The candid interactions between the dancers and the dogs was just as compelling to people, if not more, than the technical beauty. In March of 2018, Ian put together a behind-the-scenes video, a compilation of all the moments that happened while making the final images. Outtakes and all. <laughs> we put that video up on social media on a Friday, and all of our friends loved it, and they shared it. Now, not only did our friends share that video, but so did their friends. And then those friends' friends. In fact, it just kept growing. By Sunday, it had been shared from Brazil to Hong Kong, from Britain to South Africa. In a week, we went from having 600 followers on Facebook to over 100,000. Suddenly, we're doing news interviews, our work is being featured in international magazines, and we have a book agent. Imagine you're on a roller coaster. You're climbing the first hill, and you hear that final click. And then there's that second, as you're peering over the edge right before you plunge. And then what? You scream! That's what going viral feels like. All control is gone, and you're just along for the ride. That viral video reached over 30 million viewers worldwide, and it changed the course of our careers. Now, hold on a second. Rewind. What just happened? This was just our silly little project. We knew that the images were cute and fun and made people smile, but what about dancers and dogs was connecting so deeply with people around the world? The surface answer would be, well, of course. Dancers are beautiful and everyone loves dogs. Who wouldn't love pictures of dancers and dogs? But we noticed that the connection people were having with our work ran deeper than the surface. We get comments like this daily on our social media. 
people telling us that our images made their day just a little bit better. Wow, how humbling is that? <laughs> this made us think, what if our silly, seemingly meaningless project isn't silly at all? Okay, it is, but what if that silliness is important? Did you know that in 2020, the average person worldwide was connected to social media for almost two and a half hours a day. We have news, opinions, and stress constantly at our fingertips. What if, in this day and age, people have not just a want, but a need for places online where they can go to experience inspiration and awe, or a laugh? A study on YouTube users done by Tilburg University found that we as humans mirror the emotions of those we see online. They found that being exposed to happy people online can make us more happy ourselves. The technical term for this influence is emotional contagion. Look at that. Joy is literally contagious. We realized that by creating and sharing images and videos of dancers and dogs, we had completely unintentionally given birth to this wonderful safe space on the internet where people could go daily to experience a healing dose of beauty and lightheartedness. The final images show the polish and the wow factor. And the behind the scenes videos make the experience real and relatable. You can be a fly on the wall and really feel the intimate connection that the dancers have with the dogs. Dancers and Dogs' motto is spread joy. And with all the subtlety of an excited 120-pound Great Dane bounding straight into your chest, the world told us that's exactly what it needed from us. What started out as something just for me ended up being this joyful gift that we could give to the world. All of our contributions to society look different. I may not have known that this would be my path, but if my way of making the world just a little bit better comes in a fluffy, slobbery package wrapped in pink ribbon, then I gladly accept my role as accidental joy maker. <laughs>